What's up everybody? Welcome back to Level Up Classics. Today, we have a quick video for you on how to operate your classic Porsche 911, 964, Cabriolet top, and we're gonna also cover the emergency procedures if your top ever gets stuck down. Before we get started, if you haven't, click the subscribe button to help support my channel. When I first got my cab, I didn't even know how to open up the cab top because I realized that the switch to open the top, it's pretty much hidden. The switch is under the dash on the left side above the ignition. When you open the top, the engine must be off and the key must be in the ignition in position two. There are some instructions if you open up your windshield visor and it's right here. When you push the switch, you will notice that the top indicator light will light up. It's on the clock in between the one and the two o'clock position. When you press the switch, the top unlocks automatically and then the roof will proceed to open. When you open the top, you wanna to make sure that you're on level ground and you can either let it open by itself or some advice that was given to me from some of my good Porsche friends is that you can also help your top up and guide the top open. You can see me assisting the top opening and making sure that the fabric is folding properly. Over time, your fabric top might get caught on one of the pins and tear, or it just might not fold properly and it'll get damaged. There's many forums and articles out there about these issues and hopefully you'll never have to experience any of these. Closing the top is clicking the opposite of the switch and the top will come back and it'll lock by itself. If you ever get stuck on the road and you need to close your top, you'll get your 19 millimeter tire iron and you'll pop out this cap in the back seat quarter panels and then you can release the motors for the top. You'll need to do this for both sides and it looks like this under the paneling. The Porsche procedures say to turn them about four rotations to disconnect them from the guides inside and then the arms will move freely. This will allow you to manually raise the top and close it in case of an emergency. Once the top is closed, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. The manual says a screwdriver. However, it's a flathead screwdriver. And it needs to be very thin in width and long in order to fit in the hole to spin the locking motor. Given that I'm surprised that my tops still work, there's many issues that commonly go wrong with these cab tops such as the motor going out, the locks going out, some of the micro switch sensors going out, and troubleshooting these are definitely a pain in the ass. There are many threads and forms of people converting these cabs into manual tops for manual opening and closing. I don't know if I'm gonna go down that road yet, but I do like having a power top. Hopefully, this information helps you with your 964 and 993 cab. In our coming videos, I'm going to show you how to remove the cab top because I'm going to be reupholstering the fabric tops. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to help support my channel. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep leveling up, guys.